swine on that note how are you happy april you know april is always a great month of the year i'm not just saying that because i was born in april although that is one of the reasons it's just a great time you know it's it's, it's spring and everyone's testing my nerves today it's spring and off the world you know this time in Korea it is such a beautiful time because the cherry blossoms are out it's just a fresh start it's also the Tamil New Year so happy new year to me so it's just a wonderful time I'm feeling fresh I'm feeling great I had a whole nine hours of sleep last night so you know just feeling lovely this morning I woke up did some work then I jumped into the shower I had a really lovely long hot shower because I don't know where you live at the moment but where I live it's beginning to feel a lot like not Christmas but winter in the mornings and I'm very miserable when it's cold so I took a nice hot shower and then I had a lovely breakfast thank you for asking I had a lovely cup of coffee and some avo toast avo toast is always a great time always it never gets old never especially with our avocados because they're huge and they taste like butter they're super creamy not to show off but I am showing off it's just because I lived in Korea for almost 10 years and I had to pay using gold nuggets actual gold nuggets for avos that are this big and um, it was just not a great time <laughs> anyway now I am off to do some more work um, at a coffee shop actually I don't know where um, just because we're in the middle of a four hour long session of load shedding and I'm not I didn't sign up for that today so oh I also need to return a top from Mr. Price Monsieur Presse uh, because some people we won't mention any names but some people have gone apparently have gone from a size super small to a small I, I don't want to talk about it I don't know what I don't know I think this is the season of eating for me I don't know what's going on and you know what I noticed for some reason when it's load shedding I don't know what happens in my brain but my brain is like okay eat so when it's load shedding I automatically just want to eat everything I want to snack on everything I don't know this is a problem when you work fully remotely and you're at home to experience all of load shedding that, that's fine like when load shedding is like two hours long but now when we're on stage 6071 and load shedding is 12,000 hours it's a problem because I want to eat a lot of the time I don't know it's I think it's because I can't do anything during load shedding and I become restless or whatever and then my brain is just like okay eat I just I just need to be more disciplined now and I need to really just start exercising it's the Tamil New Year you know new you and new me <laughs> need to uh, start being aware of what I'm putting into my mouth. Wow, that sounds quite rude. Anyway, let me know if you're the same. 
same. Do you tend to start eating things when the lights go off? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. So I need to walk and do taxes. Very adult things. Do my taxes. Like, who even am I? These I don't even know who I am anymore. Can you see how can you see how slowly I'm going? Because here we have to deal with cane trucks and sand trucks, just very trucky trucks on the road today. No, Mr. Audi, you will wait over there, thank you. Yes. Everyone's in a mood today, I don't know what's going on. Wow, this man is so fancy, look at him. Check there. He's so fancy. Just chilling on the south coast in his three-piece suit, man. Damn. I'm telling you, what is happening today? This is the top. It's like a very simple gray top from Mr. Price. What I should be doing is I should be keeping this top because it's just one size um, up that I'm going. I should keep it and just use it as like motivation to lose that weight again uh, so that I can fit into this top. Oh, I also saw pajamas in uh, Pig and Pay. And oh, let me go see if they have that as well. Okay, yeah, cool. See you later. 2,000 years later. Okay, done. I know that you probably think that I'm being a drama queen. Like I went from an extra small to a small, but... For me, anyway, that was a bit of a wake-up call just because I need to be mar merry. I need to be merry. That's more and wary if you are a bit confused. I need to be merry about um, of what I'm eating and how often I'm eating. And I just, need to, I just need to be more disciplined, really. Also, they did not have the pajamas. Well, they did have the pajamas, but only in a medium and honestly i should have just bought the medium the rate at which i'm putting on weight might as well just buy the medium and eat more and then at least i'll fit into the medium <laughs> Hippo. You know how many times I've walked past that rock in my life and it's a hippo. Oh my gosh. You guys, things were happening at the Waffle House. This uh, old couple like super old, was sitting in front of me and they were not talking. <laughs> no talking. And eventually she was just like, what is the matter with you? And this old man, I was rooting for him. I was like, you go old white man. He was just like, I'm so sick of your behavior. You're such a bully. You just behave however the heck you want. I'm so sick of it. You also just leave your shoes lying around. Like, I think he was just like bringing out everything that he's been bottling for, uh, well, I was gonna say days, but centuries by the looks of it. You just leave your shoes lying around. I I'm sick of it. You just push me and shove me and talk to me however you want. Yeah, I, I was suffering with indigestion by the end of that, so. I I needed to leave. I've chosen peace in my life, so I needed to leave. I just really hope that they sort out their issues today because they look super old. You know, you never know what could happen. Like one of them or both of them could die tomorrow. Life is too short, you know? YOLO. Seriously. Emphasis on the last O. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. My father wants rolls. 
for tomorrow's breakfast. Now I must go to pick and pay just for rolls. You know, that that's fine, you know? Fine, fine. Sure, why not? What do you think? 40? Mm. Mm. But you look young for 40. You look like you're 34. Thanks. <laughs> My hair is so naughty. You know why? Because the wind is crazy today. Super crazy. So crazy. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Today is a very special day. Today, on the 5th of April, 1989, a miracle happened. That's right. The world didn't even know what hit it on the 5th of April, 1989. On the 5th of April, 1989, everything changed. Because I was born. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I came along and I changed everything. I bought myself. I'm, I'm just joking. I, that's the most cringe thing I've ever said. Um, but... I bought myself a cupcake because I deserve ow um because I deserve it and apparently I have to buy my own birthday cupcakes. How rude. Anything chocolate. Anything chocolate and you've won me over. Um but I'm not gonna eat this now because we're gonna go out for a late lunch. Me and my two old crows. It's very nice um hanging out with my parents because sometimes you don't even like you'll be doing something and then bam they've got a pensioners discount or oh, bam there's a pensioners queue so i tend to just follow my dad around now because the other day we were in checkers and uh we got to join the pensioners queue and so we finished before everyone else and i was like damn i am just going to follow these two around forever and ever amen i can't wait to get old well i'm already there but um I can't wait to get older because damn, old people, they have it all, man. Oh, my brush is flashing. Lovely. I'm 34 today. 34 is a great number. I don't know why. It just sounds really nice. Anyway, I gotta go to lunch. We are going to a restaurant very close by. Um, and I just really want a steak. Plus, I'm not driving, so I'm gonna have a savannah. Because mm -hmm, I deserve it. Because I'm 34. <laughs> See you later. Also, I just want you to know that 34 feels exactly the same as 33 with just one more bodily noise. Like I find like every year my body makes one extra noise. Like this year there's a, a peculiar noise emanating from my right kneecap. I don't know what it is, but my knee talks to me a lot more this year, especially when I wake up or get up very quickly. So yeah, I just think every year we're going to hear one extra noise coming out of my body. Um, which, you know, is, is fine. It's, everything's fine. This is fine. I really, life is fine. That is my um, best bud from America who is 
a nut job as you can tell probably why she is friends with me <laughs> good morning today is the 6th of april um it is the day after my birthday my birthday cupcake this is quite close to my face isn't it <laughs> I can't even begin to explain how ordinary my birthday is and um, it has always been like especially since entering my 30s I realized like in my 20s I was still in Korea so I was still very excitable and uh, um, yeah so I made more of a thing for my birthday but like I got very much over it when I entered my 30s. I like making a fuss for other people's birthdays but not my own. I worked as usual um, I did two things a little bit differently if you really want to know how I spent my birthday I did two things a little bit differently I decided to just like treat myself and go and wash and blow dry my hair at a hair salon but Sam why can't you do that at home just because like someone else is doing it for you and it feels nice and they do like they add like extra little treatments to your hair and I just like felt nice afterwards. So, you know when your hair is done, it's it's already gone. Like look at it now. Uh, but my, when your hair is done, you just feel good, alive. I don't know. Then, <laughs> okay. Now look at this. Look at my nails. Can you see my nails? Um, I'm sorry. I'm. It's it's gross. I know. <laughs> Um, but these are like the longest my nails have ever been. These are my natural nails. Look at them, sis. I can't stand my fingers. I have the ugliest fingers. But anyway, I live a very different life now in South Africa. In Korea, I would do my nails like every two weeks I'd be doing my nails. And uh, it was a fun time. Now I cannot be bothered. Um, so I leave my nails short and I just leave them natural. But because last month, whoa, exactly one month ago, March, um, I went to a baby shower. So I was like, oh, let me just do my nails. It's an event. Let me look fancy. It's Joe Park. So I went and did my nails. The problem with my nails is, do you see? They grow. They're super strong. You need like a chainsaw, firstly, to cut through my nails. But secondly, they grow at the speed of light. And I'll always forget, I'll never, I'll always forget, I'll always remember. Um, my co-teacher used to tell me like, Sam, your nails and your hair, if they grow really fast, it means that you think about sex all the time. And I was like, wow. so if your hair and your nails grow really fast, please know what that means about you. But I digress. That's why I'm like so over it now, because if I do my nails within... A week or so it's already grown so much and then I have to clean it off because it looks ridiculous because it's already like halfway up my nail so what is the point if I have to keep doing this every two weeks ain't nobody got time ain't nobody got money ain't nobody got energy for that so yesterday I still had my nails from the baby shower so I was like I really have to get this clean so I was like let me treat myself and clean my nails as well after i do my hair wasn't that such a great story <laughs> so i did my hair i did my nails within no time i had a plan to meet my parents for lunch so i had to do that straight after oh this cupcake is good so you just give me a moment to savor this mm, damn Woolworths every time like you, I so badly want to hate Woolworths, but I just can't, you know. We went for lunch. Oh my gosh. So we always go to this restaurant. It's like down the road from us. And it's like one of the best we have on the South Coast. We don't have many. But their food's pretty good for South Coast standards. And yesterday I had a steak with avo. With a steak with bacon, avo, sour cream, and something else. Oh, some relish. Oh my god. Oh, and bits of bultong. Sorry. <laughs> I get really excited about bultong. Bits of bultong on the top. Oh my gosh. It was so 
good worth every cent and i treated myself to a savannah and yeah i then had to come home and work some more that was my birthday told you right super exciting this cupcake though i haven't even had breakfast is it okay that this cupcake is my breakfast anyway i'm gonna go and finish my cupcake i thought i'd just sorry i thought i'd just update you on my birthday while there's load shedding because i don't know what else to do hey speaking of load shedding oh my god did i not on the other day did i not see someone i don't know if they were from escom or the anc or what they were basically pinning it on us they were like well people are still using energy wastefully and this is why we still have to do load i'm like are they not turning this around and making this our fault are these people not gaslighting us in front of our faces they these people they don't even have gas nor do they have lights and they are gaslighting us the audacity <laughs> Okay, so I am at uh, a local flea market. This flea market has been around like since we were babies. This is like the first time that I've come here, I think in about 20 years. What's nice about flea markets these days is these days they take cards, <laughs> which is really just lovely because I don't even know the last time I carried cash around. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so excited. So if there's a bookstore around, I am like a fly to a pile of poop, especially when it comes to used books. I am such a nerd still when it comes to reading. I love reading so much and so much so that I have always been aching to write my own book which i've done now i just need to get the courage to publish the damn thing firstly i bought a couple of books not a couple three books just for nostalgia's sake if you're about my age if you've ever read uh enid blyton oh my gosh i used to be obsessed with enid blyton especially the faraway tree oh my gosh oh see this is why i love used books because they come with history like I, so someone left their little bookmark in here. I want to know this person's story. Lollipop, like why did she write lollipop on this? Oh my gosh, I love that. <gasps> See, and this book once belonged to Gemma Stratum. Oh my God, like I want to know who's Gemma Stratum. <gasps> Look at this, this one has like a little um, story here. To Martin from Auntie Magdalene and uncle john like who are these people i also bought this book which i'm hoping is the first in the series i have heard so much about the series it's about a detective agency a woman's detective agency in africa but i think this writer is scottish right um yeah anyway so finally i'm gonna start this series um i also got this book which is just like another one of those famous books which I never actually read. So I'm gonna try this one. That's the best 140 Rand I've ever spent. Also, I went for a tarot card reading. I just want you to know that I did that purely for the vlog. I thought it would make an entertaining piece of footage. Firstly, that's my first tarot card reading ever in my life. 
and uh, I'm so glad I did because she's such a lovely lady. We had such a great chat afterwards. And yeah, so what did I take away from my tarot card reading? Number one, I have a very strong connection with someone in my life who's just like always there. We don't know who that is though. Oh, she said, whatever I'm doing creatively, I'm on the right track, which is great news. Yeah, she was like, it's on the right track and uh, it's heading for success. So I don't know if she's talking about my channel, my book or my other secret goals, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh, I met a subscriber and I've already forgotten your name. I'm wow. I'm so sorry, but if you're watching, hi! Oh, then she took out one um, like scary card, one card which looked like not good, like negative. So I was like, wait, 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 what's that card? She was like, no, no, that's your negative thinking. You always, you're on the brink of something so good, but you hold yourself back because you always think you're gonna fail. And I was like, oh... Listen, I don't know what I believe about all of this tarot card business, but that was, that's very true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I'm melting. Can you see my underarms? Oh, you can't see it, but it's quite sweaty. But I've had such a lovely day today. It really does help to get out the house. I do recommend it. I'm going to go and maybe get an iced coffee. I'm going to get an iced coffee and then I'm going to go and find something nice to buy my parents because I feel sorry for them. Cool, okay, bye! So I went to see the tarot card reader. Is there some money coming? That's she asked me like, What sort of business are you in? Are you doing anything that's really creative at the moment? I was like, everything, my channel, my book, my work, everything is creative. So she was like, whatever you do not at the moment is incredibly strong. Whatever you're working on, it's going to be so successful. Is your mother included? You asked him. You was asked these pertinent questions. Then she pulled out this card with like all these, like a dead person and all these swords going in. So she was like, no, I'm not reading that card. So I was like, wait, 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 wait. So I was like, no, 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 read all. You can't just read all the good things. Read all the bad ones. So she was like, Is she looking at negatives? Oh it's telling you to take a chance on it, but you hold back for some reason or other. This card is your attitude. You tend to be very hesitant to do anything. So you tend to always feel like you're going to fail. That That's one thing that is very true. Oh. So she was like, if you just do it, take the risk, you will be successful whatever it is she also said like are you are you looking to buy a property or like are you planning to move or buy a property or something what no, she said okay just make sure it's big enough so then i said what are you telling me that i'm gonna have a family or something yeah so quickly <laughs> yeah so then she was like no 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 <laughs> it just said you you don't like the small spaces you like a lot of space and, okay but there's an interesting twist to that at the end and then she spoke about this connection do you have uh, uh, somebody in your life right now partner no which is really close to somebody oh okay. it's just somebody that you know that you've really connected with <laughs> Edit. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, none of that's great. <laughs> oh, Lord. Then, okay, I'll give you five minutes. Five? I need to get back to the cricket. Then she said, You have a grandfather in spirit that's very much around you. Oh. I wonder which grandfather. Mm. So I said both passed. But she you said, knew the one and not the other. Yeah, but I didn't say that. So she said... Because I'm looking at somebody that was quite an adventurous fella. Well, that was nuts, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the same as adventurous. I but was it's very adventurous. Yeah, I, actually I said to her, I think both were... Outdoor people. Yeah, so I don't know. She just said his spirit is like guiding you. Mm. Yeah, and then at the end, she said, I don't think you're going to stay in this country forever. You think so? I just came back from another country. And I just made a whole video telling them how I'm here to stay. Now she's telling me, uh, I don't see you in this. So then she was like, actually, maybe that's what that space thing meant. 
She said, yeah, I think that South Africa is too small for you. <laughs> There's nothing here. Yeah. yeah. So it didn't say when you get married or something. But in so where must you go for the spirit to come? Oh Lord. Tell me what you thought when she said this. There's an energy surrounding you. Is it outside the door or way? It no, it's not in? outside the door. <laughs> Is it a protective energy? No, she said it's good. But you mean if somebody likes you, how is he going to make his uh, move? But there's no need mm. to stare for so long. Like if you approach me, mm. come and say but, no, but hello. Especially Indian men are a bit awkward to do that. They're just, just come. They'll be frightened. Because <laughs> you spit on me. Like I understand that they do have to approach you somehow mm -hmm. to get your number or to make the first move but like don't stand somewhere in the corner and watch me from a distance like a creep no, and then follow me around and then whether, oh, this is, uh, should I, shouldn't I, what should I do? Mm -hmm. The one thing that irritates me is the way they like walk past you and like, yeah, no. <laughs> Did you tell them that uh, and you in school? At the same time. No, I did not. What? I did not want to tell them that. <laughs> you didn't want to know that uh, you were in school with them? Dr. Nandipa was at my school. Happy. She was a year above me, Dr. Nandipa. Now what the gardener started referring to me as, as uh, Nandipa. Dr. Nandipa's friend. <laughs> Twice now she's called me Dr. Nandipa's friend. Because you were at school. How embarrassing for our school. So this boy now? Oh.